Hello world, here is Bitty, your Bitcoin trading informant, and this is a new update from your Bitty. This is an update, a weekly forecast, not a 5 minute only. And yes, we've reached our 46,000. Now, let's check what's going on with Bitcoin in this week. Is this the big target? Is it going down or is it going up now? We will check this soon in this video. So here we are, this is trading view and this is the technical analysis. This is the one day and on the one day we can see here on the summary, we have a buy. On the moving average, we see a strong buy and the oscillators are telling us we should sell Bitcoin. Okay, really interesting, a buy, a strong buy and a sell on the daily. So let's check now the four hours, what's going on in the four hours. The four hours, we see the same here. We see a buy here, a strong buy here and a sell on the oscillators. On the two hours, the same picture. On the one hour, we see here a neutral, a neutral and a sell. Okay, on the short time frame, we should sell. Yes, Bitcoin is going down a little bit. We will check this now, what's going on with the trading view, with the chart. Here is the weekly time frame. Every candle here is one week. And you can see here all the interesting stuff. You can see here my, my target, 46,800. Yes, it was a perfect target. I sold here my Bitcoin and I'm out for now. I'm waiting now what's going on with Bitcoin to the downside. Where is the next target to the downside? Where should I rebuy? And you can see this, this red line here, this red area was the resistance. It is the resistance and we are for the moment under this resistance. This is also really important. Here the yellow lines are the Fibonacci's, yes, and the next big target to the upside is 51,000 and 42,000 is the Fibonacci line, the big support on the downside. So, okay, guys, this is the picture now. This is the picture for maybe the next days. We have to wait what's going on. We have to search a new entry and we will check now together uh, what's going on with this stuff. Let's remove all these drawings. Let's start with the weekly clean here. And I will show you here the EMA lines. This is really important because the blue line is the EMA 20. This EMA 20 line, this is now uh, the thing most people are watching this EMA 20. Most people are waiting. They are not in the trade here. They are not in a long position because they say uh, we need a retest of this EMA 20 or EMA 21. It's not so important. We need a retest. And then if we saw a retest, I will be I will make a long position here from this retest. For the moment, we are on 40,400, maybe something like this here on this blue line. And yes, maybe some guys are watching this. This line here, this line on the downside is the magenta line. And this is our EMA 50. For the moment, a big support. You can see it also here, this spikes to the downside for the EMA 50. And you can see it here also, the magenta the EMA 50 on the downside. Uh, on the really big downside here is the EMA 200 on 15,000, but it's not so important now on the moment. We can make a price label here. This is the big support, 35,000, something about this. And this blue line is the thing a lot of guys are watching, 40,400, uh, 40, maybe something like this. This is the thing uh, all guys are, are waiting here for a retest for this line. So let's check now the next thing. This is the EMA ribbon. And you can see it, we are here in the EMA ribbon. Uh, we, we saw here the fight with the ribbon, but no confirmed closing candle under the ribbon. This is really important. So all in all, we are still in a big bull run, guys. This was a little rejection. We are still in the big bull run. Um, this is now the thing. We are over the ribbon band. You can see the last ribbon line here is uh, exactly the EMA 20, 40,400. And we are over this line. Okay, this is a nice stuff. This is really nice. Um, the next thing, guys, I can show you this. We uh, saw here this downtrend. This was a parallel downtrend. And we saw here the fight against the downtrend. And here we broke through this downtrend. And we are now in a new little uptrend. This is really bullish. We broke this downtrend. So we finished also this wave to the downside. I will show you this a little bit later here. Now let's go in the daily. And in the daily, you can see here we have a green nice ribbon band with a long position here. Long position was about 40, uh, 38,000 on this point here, something like this. This was the EMA 200 also. This is the yellow line. This was the long position here. And since this point, if you are going into a long position or if you are, if you bought here, you had a nice trade to the upside or maybe you are in a long position again, you have a nice trade to the upside here. Um, okay, but uh, as I told you guys, I uh, sold here on this Fibonacci line. I sold here on 46,500, 800, something about this. I made a stop loss here and I'm out of the trade for the moment. I'm waiting a little bit. 
always a better thing to take profit. And yes, this yellow line, the, the 38,900 is the EMA 200. This is now our support to the downside. And yes, you can see we have a lot of space to the downside. Um, now we are in a new nice uptrend. This is the uptrend. It's a green one. And you can see we are over the middle line here. This is fine. We have a little space to the middle line, maybe 44,000 or something like this is the middle line. And I can set a price target here because it's also possible to go down again a little bit to retest the middle line. Uh, and this is 44,400 maybe if you are if you are going down today. You can see this last candle here was about 4,000 US dollar, a really big candle. So it's it's possible to see here 44,000 on the middle line. It's not impossible. Why not? Okay, the next stuff, guys, this is this stuff here. The candles. This is the candlestick pattern and the candles you saw here. Um, something interesting. We saw a bearish Harami and an upgoing candle. It's really interesting. This was the bearish Harami and then we saw an upgoing candle. Uh, it's not normal, guys. Now we see a bearish Harami again. Here, look at this. We saw a bearish Harami and a downgoing Bitcoin, a big leg to the downside. And here also bearish engulfing downgoing leg. And here this was a little fake. It was not easy to trade. It not it was not easy to stay in the trade because of the long week to the downside. And now we have again a bearish Harami to the downside. So, guys, always if we are watching bearish Haramis, attention, attention. For the most times we see a downgoing price. But on this last leg yesterday, last candle, it was not easy uh, for me to tell you go out of the trade or not. I will never tell you go out of the trade or not because I'm not a financial advisor, but I can tell you my things. I can tell you my TA here. Okay, this is this stuff. Now let's check this interesting stuff. This is the relative strength index. Oh, let me remove something here. It's too much. Too much indicators. Let's remove something and try it again. RSI, Relative Strength Index. Here we are. And this is also really, really important, guys. This is the daily and we saw an overbought RSI. We are now on 69 points, something like this, not overbought, but it's interesting. We saw overbought and this is another good thing because if we are so high with the RSI, maybe we will go down again. And you can see it here is the downline. This is our big support to the downline and we have so much space to the downside. So it's really possible to go down here a little bit, a little bit to the direction 38,000, 40,000. OK, why not? Why not take deep breath for Bitcoin for the next leg to the upside? It's possible now. The MACD is ultra bullish. You can see it here. We are with the blue line over the orange line as long as we are with the blue line over this line. Everything is OK and maybe you can stay long. OK, guys, now let's go in the four hour time frame. Here is the ribbon band. We saw a ribbon band, a nice support with the ribbon band, a spike down to the ribbon band, but it's still a good support and it's measuring perfect for the moment with the middle line of our uptrend here. Okay, so um, we saw here a really big spike down to the ribbon band, a closed, confirmed closing candle, and now we are up again. This was really dangerous for a short position, but thanks God, we are going up again. We uh, saw here the breaking the breaking of our ribbon band. So relative strength index and on the four hour time frame, we are a little bit lower on 62 points, not so overbought. But guys, attention, attention. If we are drawing here the line to the upside, you can see something here. We saw that we are under the RSI trend line. We, we lost our support here of the RSI and this is really, really dangerous, guys. You can see a lot of space to the downside and maybe we are breaking through really bad here. So attention, attention. If you're watching on the RSI, it's not looking so nice on the four hour time frame. It's possible to break through, to break down here under this green line. You can see it on the downside here. So this is interesting stuff. We have to watch this and you can see this also on my live stream. The RSI is there. Everything is there you need for watching. Let's check the next thing, guys. Let's go deeper now. Let's go into one hour time frame. The one hour time frame is telling us for the moment, OK, everything is nice, but attention, we are now in the ribbon band. We saw here the fight with ribbon band over the ribbon band, under the ribbon band, a confirmed closing candle under the ribbon band, back up in the ribbon band. This was very dangerous here with this uh, confirmed closing candle. And now we are fighting in the ribbon band. Um, OK. This is now really, really important. We have to stay over the ribbon band. This is really important if we will fall back. Attention, attention. Now we can check something. We have a little bit time today. The Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands are also really important. And on the one hour time frame, you can see we are here on the downside of this Bollinger Band. 
really important guys we are on the downside maybe this is a little point for a buy-in but it's possible to go down deeper the bollinger band or the one hour is not so important so let's check it on the four hour and on the four hour you can see it guys we are really high on the bollinger band on the upside we saw here really big spikes over the bollinger band but we are back again maybe retesting the middle line this is this orange line here uh, and the middle line, this is the blue line also of our uptrend. It's also possible. And on the daily, look at this Bollinger Band. We are on the upside. We have so much space to the downside. This is frightening me a little bit, guys. It's possible to go down here if we are watching the bigger time frames. So this is one of the reasons I sold here on the upside. And I think it's possible to go down a little bit, take deep breaths here. And that's not impossible. Okay, let's go back to the one hour time frame here. Uh, and you can see here, this is now interesting. We are fighting with the downside of the Bollinger Band and we can make here a little triangle. This is a nice stuff because as long as we are in this triangle, guys, everything is okay. But for the moment, we are breaking this triangle to the downside. So it's not a nice rebuy position for me. I sold you on 46.5, 46.8. I don't know exactly, but I'm searching now for a rebuy point. If we can break out from this triangle to the upside, this would be... Uh, a nice rebuy point here it is under my stop loss and maybe i'm in again because i'm i think uh, bitcoin is really bullish in the next days and weeks so maybe we can can go higher it's not impossible but for the moment let's watch this triangle this is also impossible uh, also really um important on the 15 minute you can see it here it's a confirmed closing candle on the 15 minute under the triangle so it's not the best point for a rebuy here in my uh, opinion i'm waiting a little bit you can see also 45,000, this is the EMA 200, not so important on the EMA 15, uh, on the 15 minute chart, but it's uh, a, a maybe a next support if you're going down here more and more and more. So back in the one day and now let's uh, remove all drawings. I would like to show you here something. You can see we are on the upper side of the Bollinger Band. Yes, here we saw a, a big leg to the downside if we... Uh, if we saw here the upper side, here also upper side, big leg to the downside. So guys, attention, if we are on the upside of a Bollinger Band, it's really possible to go down here really, really fast. We have to watch this. So now let's remove all indicators. And I would like to show you this stuff here. Um, now we will check this, guys. This is very important now. This is maybe the important thing for the next week. Uh, we have some things to watch. Maybe we saw here a retracement, a, a B, C retracement. Um, the big point is now, where is point C uh, and where is the next five wave up going alien wave theory? We saw here a lower low, so maybe this was point C and we finished this A, B, C correction. It's possible. It's not impossible, guys. Um, now let's check one, two, three, four. And the big question, is this five or not? Maybe we have uh, a higher point, 50,000, 50, 51,000, 4.5. Because if we watch here the five wave up going elite wave theory, the fifth wave is always the largest, the longest wave. So it's really possible to go uh, higher here with the fifth wave, guys. We have to watch this. It's not impossible. It's also possible, guys, that we saw this here. A zero, a A, and a B, and now where is the point C? This is really important. This is also a possible thing I'm watching, guys. It's one of the reasons I sold here on B because I'm watching at 20,000. Maybe this was the correction of our big five upgoing wave theory. Maybe this was the ABC correction to the downside, guys. It's possible. It's it's also possible. Um, the big stuff is we don't know where it is B. Maybe B is a little bit higher or not. Uh, everything is possible. And we don't know where is C. This is a magic glass reading from your BT from your Bitcoin trading implement, guys. So, okay, let's move on here. So, we are in this uptrend. And what is the big thing now, guys? As long as we are in this uptrend, everything is fine. Everything is okay. We see here the downline here is of 41,000 maybe on this uptrend. So, we should stay in this uptrend for this week now. This is the thing. This is the next big thing I'm watching for the next days, maybe for the next week. 41,000 is this downtrend line and we should stay in this uptrend to the upside we have a lot of things to watch and to the downside we have also a lot of things to watch so let's check this now really quick here um let me show you we are over the middle line okay this is for fine we are a lot of way over the middle line and we need to stay here in this thing here so okay
So guys, this is now the Fibonacci retracement. I showed you this at the beginning of the video. We are here between two Fibonacci, 0.5 Fibonacci, 46,800. And to the downside, 0 0.382 Fibonacci, 42,000. 556 um, about and uh, this is the big thing so in my opinion we should stay over 42,500 this is a really safe place if we will go down here more and more and more we would make a new downtrend but for the moment we are bullish we are in a big uptrend yes for sure guys we should not forget this here you can see it this stuff the next things to the upside is very important the 0 0.618 fibonacci line at 51000 this is a really big next target if we can go on and on and on and to the downside the c point this is really important 20000 maybe this is the big target <clears throat> to the downside it's really possible to reach it why not so okay um one thing we can check now guys last but not least let me show you uh remove everything here and i will show you this some guys here on the internet and that's really important are telling you this or are thinking about this this was a big leg to the upside number one a leg to the downside maybe number two the next thing the leg to the upside three four and five and this is a really interesting stuff guys maybe we are now on wave number two two this is also really possible so don't miss the train if we are in wave number uh sorry wave number three we finished wave number two to the downside maybe we are now in the wave number three to the upside and if we will see here a higher high a higher high as the all-time high we may see 100,000 this year this is really possible it's not impossible maybe not this year maybe at the beginning of next year but it's possible guys this is my live stream i'm streaming live 24 hours seven days a week this is now the full hard day and you can see here everything you need for trading on the left side this triangle i'm watching about for a re-entry on the downside you can see the daily time frame with the bearish harami and so on and so on you can see here also the technical analysis for trading view and 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 here is the five minute chart everything is here for trading guys thank you very much for watching have a nice time i wish you just the best your pity your bitcoin trading infomant bye bye guys